Yeah, coming off the heels of uh, you know, Loyola, Wichita, and Mississippi State, we saw our defense of identity slip a little bit each game. And uh, thankfully, we got back home. We looked at the tape. We addressed some things defensively. We had two great days of practice, and, and you saw the results of that tonight. We really, really set the tone with defense. I thought all night. So I uh, couldn't be more pleased. I thought, you know, I think we were up 19 4 with uh, 12 to go. We had a little bit of a lull there, but then we recaptured uh, the momentum and really uh, just couldn't be more pleased with that defense. Y'all had that lull there where they pulled within 10 and uh, totally hits three three pointers yeah. in a row. He just catches them and, and shoots them. And just, just talk about uh, his performance. I think it was a personal best seven three pointers for him today. Yeah, I had, I had no idea that uh, he made that many, to be honest with you. But uh, it, it's uh, something we all know he's capable of doing. And if you're going to leave him open out there, he's not shy about shooting it. When he gets in a rhythm, it's, it's, it's almost not fair. He just, you know, I, I could tell by the way he ran down the floor. If, if he gets the ball, it's going up. Um, but, you know, he's earned the, the freedom to be able to do that. And, and obviously, he makes more than he misses. So we, we want him to do that. And, uh, you know, his teammates are excited for him. That's the neatest part for me. They, they, they're all jacked up on the bench, and they want him to shoot the next one. So uh, we need him to do that in conference for us. You, you had that, that rally right there where you were able to pull away in the middle of the first half. Then you come out in the second half and I think score the first 17 points in the second half. Just talk about how important it was, I guess, to, to come out of the locker room um, and, and keep that intensity up and really put it away there. We talked about uh, in the locker room, let's really come out and try to jump on top of them here early, set the tone of defense. So I think it was a 17-0 run in the first meeting. And um, you know, that's just a tremendous effort. Uh, and uh, I thought we played outstanding defense, shared the ball on offense, and uh, you know, guys made shots. I don't think we missed, to be honest with you. If we did miss, we got the rebound and put it back in. But I thought we had a string of eight or nine straight trips where we scored every trip down the floor. And uh, you're getting stops and you're scoring every trip. You know, that's going to happen. So uh, really fun and, and a lot to build off of there. And, uh, great to see um, the, the defensive intensity, the pride in the defense. And then I feel like we're hitting our stride offensively. We have a lot of guys that can score the ball. They look comfortable uh, in their roles. Uh, we share the ball well. We had uh, 23 assists tonight. It's a tremendous effort. Right, when Tolley scores uh, 30 points and gets seven three-pointers, it's easy to focus on him, but Fred gets 19, Kenny gets um, 15, I believe. And a, a few other guys shot the three-ball well also. Yeah, no question. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's, it's what we want. We, we want balance, and uh, it, it's nice for Tolley to get 30. I, I really would rather have five guys in double figure, five guys with you know, 10 to 15 and one with 30, but uh, we're certainly not going to hold him back. We need to let him go. Will let him go. He's capable of doing that. But it's nice to see that uh, you know you take him off the floor last year, and we would struggle to find buckets. You take him off the floor this year, we don't miss a beat. We have other guys that can step up and make plays. And then um, you know I, I thought at Mississippi State we were good offensively because they shaded totally, played a two-three zone. He always had three guys around him. We had other guys step up and make plays. Uh, we, we need that. That gives us more weapons in conference, makes us harder to guard in conference. And if you have to respect everyone else, you know, those can beat you. And that, that's what we want. Thank you, buddy. But you said uh, you know, last year you felt y'all really missed having you know, that tough three point goal like Justin Payne. They were 23 points away, eight assists, one turnover. Can you talk about the way he's played? I, I thought he was outstanding. And uh, I was just saying on the radio show that he, he has gotten comfortable. He knows what we want. He's capable of doing it. He plays tremendous defense, had three steals, only had one turnover. That one came late in the game. Uh, he loves to share the ball. He was more concerned tonight with his assists. He wanted 10 assists more than he wanted 15 points. That's a wonderful point guard. Play defense and distribute the ball. But then if you don't guard him, you make shots. Uh, so uh, glad we got him. And I'm glad he's running our team and uh, really excited about uh, how this team's rounded in the show. Can you talk about the way he you know, distributes the ball and when Tolley's hot, he always seems to have it in his hands. Whenever the other guys get it going, he seems to get it to them. Yeah, he's he's really developed a knack for finding Tolley and Fred in particular. Um, and uh, it's he understands how to be a good point guard. He's been coached well through his career and, and he understands what we want him to do. And he, yeah, 
you have guys who want the ball in their hand because they want to make plays. He wants the ball in his hand because he wants totally to make a play. And that really makes us good. And I think the kind of the icing on that cake is if you really commit to taking Bose and Hunter away, Kenny can hurt you in his own right, but never goes there first. He's always very patient. Uh, his shots come late in the shot clock. Thank you. And uh, it just it, it sets up well. It's the way we want to play the game. Let's try to run it through our two stars. And uh, if we need you to make a play late, go make a play late. He, he gets it, and he's comfortable with it, and he does it well. It's pretty rare to find a player like that. Uh, it, it's hard. It is. You know, and Payne had it. And uh, we struggled last year. Uh, but it's, it's good to see Kenny rounding into shape. And you know, when he graduates, we're going to find another one. We won't worry about that right now. All right. Thank you so much. Go Thank ahead. you.